Hello everyone, this is Gary DeTonicua from MoreThanASnapshot.com. In today's video, I want to show you how to use smoke overlays in Photoshop to add a little more atmosphere to your images. So let's head over to the computer and check it out right now. Here we have an image of a young lady cooking, and I think that by adding a little bit of smoke coming out of those pots in the background, we can add a little more atmosphere. And it's very simple to do in Photoshop. First of all, you'll need to have some smoke overlays, which is, of course, available on my website. And uh, I'll open up here are some examples of them. And it's very simple to use them. We're going to use them as layers in Photoshop and then just change the blend mode to screen. So we would kind of take a look at um, the different pots and see if we can find one that would kind of go along with the, the way the scene might look. All right, so let me just pick one at random here. I'll just take this one and drag it out onto my image. As you can see, when it first comes out, it has this blue box around it. What this blue box lets you do is resize it, and you can also put your cursor on the corner, and um, you can tilt it. So what I want to do is um, figure out which pot it would look good with. Maybe something like this. Now we have to get rid of the black background, which is simple enough. All I have to do is click on the blend modes and then click screen. Screen will get rid of any of the uh, black and just show the white, which is why all of these smoke objects were shot on a black background. All right, now we still have the blue box, so we can further adjust and tweak how this looks. And um, I can also adjust the size if I want it bigger or smaller. All right, and once I think it's okay, I'm gonna hit enter. Now, if I think that it's not good, I can always hit Control T and it'll bring back all of those handles and I can continue to adjust it. All right, so I'll just hit Enter again. Now, we're almost there. One thing you might notice is the pots are slightly out of focus because they're in the background. And the smoke is in focus. Now, I do have some smoke uh, options in there that are out of focus to begin with, and I do have some that are obviously in focus. But in this case, I chose one that's in focus, and the pot is not in focus, so we have to fix that. So all I am going to do is go to Filter, and then to Blur, and to Gaussian Blur. And as you can see, it's applying an 8.6 pixel blur, and that's sort of uh, making it look like about the same amount of blur that this pot has. So I think that's uh, looking pretty good. So I'm going to say OK. And you can see here it added it as a smart filter and it's attached to that layer. Now, the other thing is there are corners and edges that I think um, are a little bit harsh. They don't quite blend in. So I'm going to add a mask just to sort of soften the edges up. So I make sure I'm clicked on my smoke layer. Click on mask. Make sure I'm clicked on the mask itself. Now, all I have to do is paint in black, so I have to come over here and make sure my foreground color is set to black, because that will reveal what's in the background. And then I grab the paintbrush, and so this little section of white right there, I want to tone that down a little bit. Notice that I have my flow on 60, so it's not taking everything off 100% right away. Over here, there's a little bit of uh, white edge, and maybe it comes up a little too high. So I'm just sort of smoothing out those edges. Now, I think that looks okay, but maybe it's a little bit vibrant. So the other adjustment that I might want to make is to sort of soften the effect a little bit. So I'm going to come over to the opacity layer and cut it down a little bit. Instead of making it 100%, I might make it 60%. And now I think that looks 
fairly realistic. So let's do the steps again because we have another pot here. Uh, I'm just going to come over and pick another file. All right, let's drag this one out onto the screen. I don't know how well this one's going to work, but we'll give it a try. I'm going to make it, of course, a bit smaller, and I'm going to angle it. And I'm going to get it roughly in the right spot. And then I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. All right. So now I'm going to do the same kind of thing. I'm going to try to see if it will fit. If it will look realistic or not. And then I have to do a little bit of work to clean it up. So the first thing is I need to blur this one also. So again, we went to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're adding a, again, an 8.6. And I'm going to take the opacity down on this one. Sometimes you just want it to be subtle. All right. So around 29%, I think I'm liking. But before I do that, I'm going to go back up to 100% because I want to make sure that it's not on her face. So I'm going to add a mask, click on the mask, paint in black, and I'm going to make sure that I'm painting the mask off of her face and maybe slightly away from, from the edge of her face. All right, now once the mask is done, I can click on the regular layer and then reduce the opacity. I think maybe somewhere in that 26% range is good. Now you'll notice it's just a very soft hint of smoke. It doesn't have to be an overpowering effect. All right, let's do one more since we have another pot over here. We can add as many layers as we want. And you can put them in different directions and um, I'm going to try to pick one that might be a little bit subtle. All right, so again, I'm going to make it smaller. It's going to come out of this pot. Change the blend mode to screen. All right, and hit enter. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to add a mask so that I can refine it a little bit. Oh, I'm already on the paintbrush. And I'm going to get rid of or very much lighten that little section. Might lighten this up here. Maybe get a little separation over here. All right. Now, again, I need to blur it because this pot is not in focus. Maybe I won't blur it quite as much as I did on this one. So again, I'll go to Filter and then Blur, Gaussian Blur. Oh. See here, you can see I was on the mask and not on the layer. That's why it didn't blur. So I'm going to cancel this. So in this time, you have to make sure you're on the actual layer, not on the mask. And then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. All right, now you can see that it blurred the smoke. Maybe I'll drop it down to, I don't know, seven. So it's still blurred, but not quite as blurred as that smoke. All right. Let me go back. I think I want to see maybe if I can get a little bit of separation here. All right, so if I click on this layer and I hit Control T, I just have to say OK. And I can 
adjust this a little bit more. All right, then I might come back to the mask on this one. This time I'll paint with white because I'm trying to bring back a little bit of this smoke over here. All right, I think that looks okay. Let's see if we can add an overall haze coming through the window. All right, now I'm going to change it to screen. And of course, I'm going to lower the opacity. Maybe somewhere around 30%. Then I'm going to hit enter. So that kind of just adds a little bit of atmosphere here um, in the window. I also need to add a mask to maybe soften the edges a little bit on that. Again, I'm going to paint with black. Make sure black is the foreground color. And I'm just going to go around the edges of that. All right, again, another subtle change, but one that could make uh, an interesting effect in the photo. All right, if I wanted to go a little bit crazy, I could start adding smoke behind her, but I think you get the point. Adding this smoke can make things a little bit more interesting. Let me make a stamp layer, and I'll turn all of these off. Here you can see the before with no smoke and the after, before and the after. And I think that overall it just adds a little bit more interest to the photo. And it's pretty simple to do. All right, thanks for watching my video all the way to the end. If you found this kind of Photoshop tutorial and project fun and interesting, or you just want to get more information about Photoshop, head on over to morethanasnapshot.com and check out my new course, A Beginner's Guide to Photoshop CC. Also, if you want to have some smoke layers to use, you can um, check out my shop, purchase my um, smoke overlay bundle, which has more than 420 different smoke overlays that you can use on your Photoshop files. And an even better option is if you become a Snapshot member, which is also in my shop, You'll see that you'll get all of my courses currently, all of my future courses, and all of these digital assets that I create. So that is obviously the best deal. So I hope to see you in the next class, and I hope you enjoyed this video.